Yo, what's up guys, Super Tave Quest got for you on the quest. One small favor, very long quest, but it's got great rewards for those low levels you have. To start off, you need to have completed Druidic Ritual, Ritual, Rune Mysteries, and Shiloh Village. You have to have 18 Herblore, 25 Crafting, 30 Smithing, and 36 Agility, and defeat at level 92 Slagalith. You need a one bowl of hot water, one Barnes Bar, one Chisel, two clean Guam, one clean Herolander, one clean Marantel, 1,000 coins, one empty cup, one empty pot, one hammer, one iron bar, one logs, five pigeon cages, which can be found in our dune, our adoin, sorry, well, four steel bars, one tinder box. It's recommended to have a uh, weapon and armor, and some teleport methods to a bunch of different cities, which you can just see in my inventory. So, talk to this guy in Chalo Village to start the place, or to start off the quest. So, in Shock Doom, you should have started the quest. Now you need to run south from his hut and then east, climb up this ladder here, basically by the fishing guy, and talk to Cerevel and buy a Lady of the Lake ticket from him. You now need to go talk to a jungle forester, so just follow where I go. Basically, once you've made your way outside of Shiloh Village, go talk to one of the jungle foresters that are along this little forest line. Talk to him and ask him about Red Mahogany. He's going to give you a blunt axe. You now you make your way from the bottom of Shiloh Village all the way to this little arrow right here. So you just need to keep running west until you get to basically the edge of Karamja. Once you are at the arrow, climb up the ladder. Make sure you have your Lady of the Lake ticket on you. Talk to the ship captain up here. Ask him for a favor. Eventually, he's just going to take your ticket and just say... That's you're interested in a boat ride or boat trip. Say that you want to go to Port Sarum. Now take the ride to or just ride to Port Sarum, and you're gonna to ride to the axe shop that is in Port Sarum. Just follow where I go to get to the place. It's just basically right next to the dock. Run in here. Talk to him. Or talk to this guy. Brian. Talk to him and make sure you go through every single quest option with or text option. And once you've gone through all of those, he's going to ask you for a favor. You're going to talk to the the witch in Draenor uh, Village, Aggie the Witch, and ask her for a favor. Basically, their guy said that he needs some help in court, like a witness, and you're going to ask Aggie for the favor. Now you need to go to the ham hideout, which is in between Lumbridge and Draenor Village, where you guys go to pickpocket clues. Once you've gone down here, click the block and climb down the ladder. Open this door. 
run to the very southeast part of the cave, open this door right here, and look for a guy that's basically in red robes called Johannes Ulbricht or something like that. I'm sorry, talk to, uh, first you gotta talk to Jimmy the Chisel, who's in here. He's just in the jail back here. Now run back up. Talk to Johannes Olbrecht or something like that. Keep talking to him and ask him to supply. He's asked you to basically get a supply of chickens to come to the ham hideout. So make sure you go through every option. Or just look at the ones I'm going through. He now wants you to go to Fred the Farmer, who is just north of Lumbridge by the sheep. When you guys did the quest, Sheep Sure, he's just in that house. Talk to him. And you're going to ask him for a supply of chickens. He's not going to have enough chickens, but one of his friends will, basically, or another farmer, who has the watermill on the east side of the river by Lumbridge. And I'll show you on the map where that is. Just make sure you finish talking with them. As you can see, you are right there. You need to make your way to the other side of the river. And you need to talk to the farmer. So just run east and make your way to the other side. Once you've gone to the water mill, talk to Seth the Groats in here. And ask him about the chickens. You now need to make your way to Varric from Lumbridge all the way up to Varric by the guy who makes uh, plate bodies and stuff. So just teleport to Varric and go talk to Horvik who is just at the town center, just north east of the town center. He says he can help you out, but... He is sort of sick and needs some medicine. So you now need to go talk to the guy in the apothecary, up by that little purple symbol. You guys see where I am on the map? Just run southwest from Horvik's area down to the apothecary guy. And ask him about one small favor. He's going to give you some ingredients, but unfortunately, he dropped something, and you need to go do a favor for him to get it back. You guys still have a lot of those coming. <laughs> he basically needs an airtight pot, which can be found in Barbarian Village. Thrown from Varric to the Barbarian Village, you guys know where that is. Go talk to the girl in the bottom part of the village, Tassie. Ask her about the airtight pot, but she's apparently getting stalked by a creepy ass dwarf, so you need to go solve that issue first. And say that you're gonna go deal with Hammerville. Hammerville is in the Dwarven Mines which is just north of Falador, so you make your way from Barbarian Village all the way to the Dwarven Mines. Once you get there, climb down the ladder and follow where I go. Basically, you just run north, and the first left you can take, run all the way to the end. And talk to him about Tassie, and then he'll basically show his interest in becoming sort of like a druid. So he's going to ask you to go talk to Sanfew in Taverly, 
and ask him if basically he'd accept like a dwarf as a monk. So make your way from the Dwarven Mine to Taverly. You can teleport to Falador or run over there. Go to the little quest symbol circular house in Taverly. Once you get there, climb up the stairs. Talk to Sandview. And ask him about the dwarves. And he'll basically tell you that he would accept it, but he needs a favor. Surprise, surprise. He wants you actually to do two favors, but one of them is not that hard to do. And I'll basically show you. So he's going to give you some stroof, and you basically need to make a tea. Use, or make a fire outside with your tinderbox. Make sure you can do it in an area where you can actually make a fire. So just follow what I did, make sure you have your uh, hot water, use your cup uh, with the hot water, use a hairlander on the hot water, use your marantel on the hot water, use your two guams on the hot water. To get a lovely tea, I got this rest three. Make your way to the top of White Wolf Mountain and talk to the dwarf or to the gnome up here and give him the Guthix Rest 3 T. Keep talking to him and he'll basically tell you about a certain like organization you need to go talk to Ar Arhine about in Catherby. You just need to run from, so you just ran west to get to the top of White Wolf Mountain, just run east to get down, and I'll meet you in Catherby. You can show my, you can see from my mouse where it is. You need to go in Catherby. Go talk to Arnheim, who is by the general store symbol. He's just at the top of the docks. Ask him about trash. Now you gotta go talk to a guy in Camelot, or sorry, in Sears Village. Go talk to, you'll go from Catherby to Sears Village and go talk to a guy with a long ass name. You'll see what house this is when I get there. So it's just north of the, or just south of the anvil that you did Elemental Workshop with. And it's just one house west of where all the Sears are. Run in here and talk to the guy with a long ass name. Fun what? We're gonna call him Fuckface. No, I'm just kidding. Basically, you'd ask him for a weather report, but he says that he can't because something, basically something's broken, and then he's also concerned about a girl. You basically need to go save this girl. Go to the Goblin Cave from Sears Village, which is just north of Ardoin. You can see we have the exclamation point up here. Basically, once you get to the exclamation point, enter the cave, run north. Go into this little cave up here in a little cutscene work car. You're going to see a girl that's stuck in the rocks. Expect the rock, 
and you're gonna see a girl stuck in there. And basically, a note was there saying, "Go talk to Warzard Crompty if anything goes wrong." Go talk to Wizard Crompty, who's an Ardoin in the northeastern part of the town. Or you could say city. Talk to him about the girl, and then eventually he's going to tell you that he needs a favor as well. Surprise, fucking surprise. So make your way from Wizard Crompty to Port Kazard, which is south of Ardoin. Withdraw some GPs as well as a chisel. Make sure you have a chisel on you. And run south to Port Cazard out over to the docks. Look for this Tyndall merchant. Talk to the Tyndall merchant. Merchant. <laughs> and ask him about Wizard Crompty. He will help you out, but he needs a mattress. That's not uncomfortable. You need to go talk to the guy from Big Chompy Bird Hunting, Rance. So you guys are currently in Porkazard. You guys are right there. Make your way to the quest symbol right here down in Felda Pills. Rance should be just wandering around there. Once you have talked to Rance, ask him about the mattress. So you see what we can do when he tells you about the loud noises that are occurring. And now you come to the last part of the favor asking make your way from Rance's quest symbol to the runway by the um, close to the ferry ring just west of the ferry ring basically look for the gnome the gnome ladder on your map and the gnome will be here talk to him and ask him he doesn't want any trouble with him and he's gonna ask you to replace the lights the runway lights and my mouse is sort of messed up here sorry about that but what you need to do is you need to search the landing lights for all the gems that are inside. Once you search it, use your chisel on the gem that, it, that comes out, and a cut gem should appear. Use that gem on the landing light again. Use it with all eight of the landing lights around this area. Now, if you chisel a gem and it breaks, go talk to the gnome again, and he'll, buy, he'll let you buy one off him which is pretty cheap, so that's why I said bring some GPs. Once you have finished, talk to him. And you'll basically be done with all the favors. Now the painful part comes up of talking to every single person again who you've recently talked to. So, from the gnome, run back to Rance. Tell him that the gnome will not be bothering him anymore. He will give you a better mattress. Now you have to run back up to the port of Kazard, or Kazard port, or whatever fuckish card, and go talk to the Tyndall merchant again. Tell him that you have fixed his mattress, or basically give him a better mattress. He will now give you the iron oxide that you need. Run back up to Wizard Crompty, and tell him that you have the basically the iron oxide for him, and he will give you the rock spell once you have the rock spell run it back up north to the goblin cave make sure you have some armor on you and some food basically stand in front of the rock and read off the spell you're gonna mess up of course and uh, one of the rocks is gonna come to life and attack you The Slygeth is not that hard, or whatever the fuck it's called. 
just keep attacking him. He didn't hit me that hard, but basically just keep, I prayer flicked. Um, lower levels, there's probably a safe spot behind a rock. I'm not totally sure though. And come on. And come on. I think I splashed like forever here. There we go. Once you've killed him, use the spell on the rock again. He's going to drop some nice stuff, so pick it up. This time you get a right and, and the bitch is going to pop out of the rock. And now you have that done. So run back up to Sears Village, talk to the guy with the long name. Tell him that you are done with freeing the girl. So now another annoying part's gonna come up. He's basically gonna tell you that he can't give you the weather report because the thing on his roof is broken. The thing that get, tells him the weather. So you can go fix it for him. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that once you have finished talking to him. Just threaten him with some angry stuff saying, Yo, bitch, give me my shit. And he's going to be like, I can't. And eventually you're going to get the option to fix the stuff on his roof. And we got to go fix the stuff on his roof. Keep looking through these options until you're able to... Get to the part where it says special combination, ask about the spe uh, special combination, and then you'll be able to fix the weather pain thing on his roof. So you can click the ones I'm clicking, or you can do it yourself, but. Basically, uh, you need to. This, here we go, this is where you need to get to. The weather vane is up on the roof. So, run to where I go. You guys see, you guys know the house where you can craft flax into bowstring. Climb up the ladder, run your way to the other side, and climb up the other ladder. You'll be on the roof. Run to the other side of the roof, and you're gonna look at the weather vane. It's gonna say it's pretty broken, now search it. Put your hammer, use your hammer on the weather vane. You're gonna give a good solid whack. Now search the weather vane to get a broken ornament, broken directionals, and a broken something like routing or rotating pillar. You guys, I need to run to the anvils north of this house. So when you have all those items, climb down the ladder. Run to the other side, climb down the other ladder. And last but not least, open this door and run Northeast, pretty much. It's just straight north, a little east. To these anvils up here. Make sure you have what I have in my inventory. Use your directionals on the anvil. Use your pillar on the anvil. And then use your ornament on the anvil. And there you, that's basically going to use up the bars that you have. Now, use these on the weather vane. So you simply just need to run back up to the weather vane. Once you're up here, use the any of the items on the weather vane. And keep doing one after another. And it'll fix the weather vane. Now run back down to talk to long ass name guy. He'll give you the weather for it. Now talk to Arnhein again, who's in Catherby, if you remember. Arnhein will be pleasantly happy. Say that you have the weather report. And now you gotta go talk. Or you gotta, you guys know how you uh, talk to the gnome before. Run back up to the gnome on White Wolf Mountain. 
talk to him and say that you have the scroll, the thing for him, or that you talk to Arnheim, and he'll be very happy. Now talk to Sanfu again. Once you're up here, talk to Sanfu. As you guys remember, Sanfu is in Taverly, and simply tell him that he will that you've talked to the gnome, and then he will tell you that he will accept a dwarf into the druid circle. Now remember, you guys are gonna be fighting some dwarves here. Uh, you're gonna be fighting three of them. They're pretty. Just simply talk to Hammerspike. He's gonna tell you that he loves the gang life more than the druid life. He's gonna say that his men are gonna deal with them. Just simply, they have like 25 HP each, so they're pretty damn easy. I was pretty much, you know, smack talking them. And I thought he was going to say, alright, I want to be a druid again. But now nah, he says that he'll leave uh, the bitch Tassie alone. And keep going through the whole conversation with him. And now run to Tassie and Barbarian Village again. Once you're here, talk to Tassie. And she's going to teach you how to make an airtight pot. He, she's going to give you some spare clay. Use your clay on the pottery wheel. I use that pot lid on the smelter thingamabobber. And then use that on your pot. And you now have an airtight pot. Run back over to Varric to the apothecary. Or apothecary. Have I been saying it wrong the whole time? Apothecary. Shit. And talk to him and say that you have the airtight pot for him. And he's going to be wonderful. Let's see. And he'll give you the breathing salts. Which you now can take to the man with the... Uh, and the at Varric Center. Jarvik, Jorvik, Jorvik. Talk to him, say that you have the the breathing salts and the other thing that you had in your inventory. And now he will tell you that he will basically um, help you out if you have the pigeon cages. And hand over all the pigeon cages that you have in your inventory and he'll make them into chicken cages. Now you have to run back south all the way to Lumbridge and we gotta go talk to our man at the mill talk to Seth Groats or Grouts or whatever give him the chicken cages and talk to him and say that you have the chicken cages you know be uh, able to go talk to the man in the ham had it the ham <laughs> the ham hide it again Johannes talk to Johannes tell him that you have the chicken deal all set for him Make sure you go through the whole chat option so you know that Jimmy's safe. Now go talk to Aggie the Witch again and drain her village. Talk to her and tell her that Jimmy is safe. Now go talk to the man in Port again, Brian, at the axe shop. And tell him that he never really had to do any of this. You really never, do, you never really had to do any of this anyway, and that you could have done your axe for free or whatever. So that you know, sort of sucks. But you make sure you have a sharpened axe before you go back to the jungle forester. So when they, when you have the sharpened axe, go talk to the jungle forester again, who, as you know, is south of Shiloh Village. I just took a ship to Port Serum. And you can actually run north of Brimhaven to the top part up here. And you see a guy with a cart called Hajedi. Pay the fare to Hajedi. It's going to be 200 coins. And he will take you, take you to Shiloh Village. So, show. It's a nice little trick you guys didn't know about. Make sure to go talk to the same jungle forester as last time. Say that you have the sharpened axe. And now she will give you the red mahogany 
Final step of the quest, guys. Go talk to the man you started the quest with. So simply run, or just walk back into Shadow Village and go talk to the man to start the quest. Here's Yanni. Said that you have the red mahogany. And go through his options saying, here's the red mahogany you asked for. And then say, wait, that's it? And then say that you've traveled on RuneScape, doing this and that and this and that. And eventually he's going to be like, look, I can see you're upset. He's going to give you a small metallic ring that you can put all your keys on. And he's going to give you two 10k XP lamps as well. You must have 30, level 30 or better in them in a skill to use them on that skill. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Finally got that done. Pretty long quest, but pretty nice XP rewards. So hope you guys enjoyed watching. That's it. Peace. I use them on room crafting. Got me larger levels. I think like nine in total. 40 room crafting. Awesome stuff. Peace.